Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to turn this baby alive into Bridget from the Trolls movie. This is going to be a baby alive art doll, so let's get started. Since Bridget has gray skin, the first thing we're going to do is paint the doll gray. Then I painted on her green nose, pink cheeks, freckles, and eyebrows. I gave Bridget her signature pink eyes and black eyelashes. For her adorable Bergen teeth, I cut out pieces of white felt to add to the doll. Then I hot glued them to her mouth. For Bridget's dress, I found this pink sparkly dress. Now I know it's not exactly what Bridget wore in the movie, but I think it'll do. And I just happened to have this official Trolls Bridget wig to complete the doll. And when I was done, I really liked how it looked. I think Bridget looks amazing. She is a perfect little art doll. I think it works. And she can still function as a baby alive. She can still eat and it looks kind of adorable. All right, on to my next project. Today we're going to turn this adorable Chelsea merry-go-round, which is also called a carousel, into a My Little Pony merry-go-round. It is actually really cute the way it is, and it's perfect for your 12-inch dolls, but you know me, I like to change things. We gotta change this. I want it to be for My Little Pony. First, I took off all the swings so that it was completely empty. The next thing I did was choose some ponies. I chose Pinkie Pie, Shining Armor, and Rainbow Dash. They're going to be our carousel horses, or ponies, if you will. These ponies are actually from the Guardians of Harmony collection of figures, but I'm just going to set those over there. For the pole that connects the ponies to the carousel, we're going to use this wooden dowel. First, we're going to start with Pinkie Pie, and I kind of want her to look like she's jumping mid-air, so I cut off two poles, one for the bottom and one for the top. I only cut one wooden dowel for Shining Armor because he's going to be firmly planted on the floor of the carousel and he didn't need one for the bottom. And for Rainbow Dash, I'm going to pose her in the air to look like she's flying. So she's going to need two pieces of wooden dowel. Now that I have the dowels into the sizes I need, I painted each one yellow. But then I changed my mind and I painted them all white. Then I decorated each pole with different colors of ribbon using hot glue to secure the ribbon in place. I was really impressed with how this turned out. I think they look really cute. They almost look like little candies the way they are. Next, I hot glued the poles to the ponies and the merry-go-round. I also found these really cute three-dimensional stickers to put around the merry-go-round. I 
I place them around the top of the carousel. I really like how this turned out. It is so cute. It's so fun. I love the colors. I like it. Then I thought, since this is going to be sitting on a shelf, I'm going to decorate the carousel with different objects. So I placed other objects around to make it look a little more fun. And of course, what good is a carousel if you don't make it spin? And it actually looks cool when it does. And now it's time for our next project. Today we're going to make a custom Vampirina doll. Now Vampirina is a six year old vampire, but we are going to turn her into a much older version using this Monster High doll. And of course I'm choosing Draculaura because Draculaura is also a vampire. First, I'm going to use painter's tape and plastic and just make sure that her hair is protected because for this project, I'm not removing the hair. Believe it or not, I'm not cutting the hair. I know I normally do that, but this time, we're keeping the hair. Now that her hair is protected, we're going to use beauty blenders to paint the doll for this project. I talked a little bit about this in my last video where I used beauty sponges a little bit on the My Little Pony custom and I felt like that project was a little bit too large to use the beauty blenders. But let me tell you, beauty sponges work fantastically on a Monster High doll. It just smooths everything out just perfectly. You don't get any brush strokes. It looks phenomenal. And this is a great alternative to using spray paint. You can just sponge this on and it turns out amazing. You do need a lot of coats of paint though, but that's kind of true for any paint you use. Once Draculaura was completely covered in paint, I tried going in with a white watercolor pencil, but that wasn't working out too well. I ended up shading the top of the lids, and then I followed that up with some white paint and filled in the white part of her eyes. I started using the pencils to make the basic parts of the eye, but it just wasn't working for me. I just didn't like how it looked for this project. I don't have much experience using pencils on my dolls, so maybe that had a lot to do with it. Um, so maybe that's something I need to practice in the future. But for now, I put that aside and finished making the eyes with paint and a bunch of teeny tiny fine paint brushes. I made her eyes a grape purple color. And then I followed that up with some metallic paint to give them some shine and maybe a little bit of depth. I added on her eyebrows and I made them very thin just like Vampirina's are. I used a dark purple for her lips. And 
then a slightly different, but barely noticeably different, dark purple for her eyelids. I continued working on her eyes, adding eyelashes, trying to perfect everything, and that took the longest because I kept changing and rearranging and trying to get her eyes as perfect as I could get them. I also gave Vampirina her vampire teeth and this took a little bit of time to get it just right. I added white highlights to her eyes. And now we move on to the hair. My plan with the hair was to use black fabric markers to actually color the pink parts black. Sounds great, right? Sounds like it would work, right? Well, wrong, sort of. It did cover the pink quite well actually, except it never dried. Like nothing I could do would make it dry. So don't do this at home. This was just so silly. I was really frustrated with this. I left it out in the sun to dry. I put it in front of the blow dryer. I tried everything, nothing would dry it completely. And so everything this doll touches turns black. It's awful. But please, feel free to watch the footage of me making a huge mistake. For Vampirina's outfit, I decided to kind of make an older version of what she was wearing when she was younger. So I used this pink plaid monster high top that I already had on hand. For her dress, I'm going to use this Barbie skirt. But of course, Barbie is way bigger than a monster high doll. So I turned the dress inside out, put it on the doll. Then I used a needle and thread and stitched along the outline of the doll. Then I took it off, stitched it properly, and then turned it right side out and put it on the doll. Next, I added some elastic ribbon to the sides of the doll to make it look like it was kind of an overall dress. I thought about adding some spider webs to the dress, just like six-year-old Vampirina has on her dress, but uh, that was gonna be complicated at this point. And I also liked the way this dress looked just as it was, so I decided to leave it. Now here's where this black fabric paint really frustrated me. I had to basically repaint the doll's face because while I was making the dress, her hair was touching her face and it just completely made it look like she had been working in a garage under a car because it looked like she had grease all over her face. But I fixed that up. And after all the trouble I went through with this hair, I finally decided that maybe I'd like bat wings instead of ponytails. So I ended up making some bat wings out of felt and attaching them to the ponytail holders. And then I cut off the ponytails themselves. I know I could have done this a lot sooner with a lot less trouble, but I didn't know that that's what I wanted at that point. And I also gave her her widow's peak.
and that's it! Now we have a Vampirina Monster High Custom Doll! Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time!